Hey guys, it is 2Pro or Adam, and welcome back to another COD Zombies Top 10. Today is kind of the start of a new series with COD Zombies kind of winding down. I thought it would be awesome to kind of go over the greatest of certain categories. So right now we're doing SMGs. In the future, we'll do ARs and snipers and zombie bosses and pap camos, all those things go over the greatest in each category so again today we're going over 10 of the greatest smgs in all of treyarch zombies so my last couple of sound quizzes have been pretty tricky especially my last one now i haven't had a chance to look at some of the answers at the time of recording this but you'll see on screen in a second how many of you got it right and wrong so the correct answer or the answer i was looking for was the IX Easter egg ending cutscene. So congratulations to those of you who got that sound right. Today's sound is still a Black Ops 4 zombie sound. That one right there is a lot easier than my last couple of sounds. So I'm expecting a lot of you to get this one right. And of course, guys, if you're new here, hit that sub button. If you are subbed, make sure notifications are turned on. And besides that, Let's get into the 10 greatest SMGs in Treyarch Zombies history. Starting off my list in the number 10 spot, I'm not gonna lie, this one and I guess my next one as well were kind of toss-ups. I personally hit a wall at 8, like there were 8 SMGs where I'm like, yep, those 8 are really, really good. With these last two, you know, you can really put a lot of SMGs here, so this is more personal preference, and in my 10 spot I have the VMP from Black Ops 3 Zombies. The VMP is a fantastic... I guess a starting weapon since Black Ops 3 still had that old point system the VMP was fantastic for farming points in those early rounds if you pop this thing it was pretty decent but then again a lot of guns in BO3 are decent but I think the VMP for an SMG it did its job very well coming in at my number nine spot like I just said this is another toss-up for me and I have the Thompson from World of War and BO1 and BO1 the Thompson was only on the World at War map, so pretty much like World at War only, but the Thompson is similar to the VMP. It is great for those early rounds. The Thompson is a fantastic point farming weapon like i remember bo1 and uh, dire eyes or you know even you know any map in world of war the thompson was always my go-to wall buy to farm points before i go and buy perks at the box so the thompson just like the vmp as an smg it is great for points and you know what it's actually pretty decent for killing zombies in you know those first 10 15 rounds coming in at my number eight spot i have the first smg on the list that I think really deserves to be here and that is the Spitfire from BO4 Zombies. I don't think it is the best SMG in BO4. We'll find out what that is later on in the video but right off the bat since the point system in BO4 Zombies is different from every other Treyarch Zombies mode SMGs aren't point weapons. There are no point weapons in BO4. I guess the knife is like the only point weapon and headshots also are our way of getting more points but the spitfire is a solid smg pair this thing up with deadshot dealer i think it's absolutely fantastic round 25 plus this thing is effective fully papped and on top of that it is a wall gun the last thing i want to mention about this weapon you do have the wildfire mod personally i think it's a little bit overkill you burn through ammo so so fast but it is a really effective against gladiators and brawlers and blight fathers on those chaos maps so in general i think the spitfire is a very solid smg in bo4 coming in at my number seven spot i have the m1927 smg and it's kind of weird how i have this above the spitfire because the spitfire is way better than this gun especially in bo4 i really don't like this gun all that much in bo4 but since this weapon is so valuable in black ops 2 and in bo3 because the point system was different 
this thing has to be higher than the Spitfire on my list. And that's really the only thing I think this gun is really good at is getting points. In BO2, on Mob of the Dead, on Origins, and of course in BO3 as well, this thing was absolutely insane when it came to racking up those points. Like Mob of the Dead, you grab this thing early on, use it for like 10, 15 rounds, you get so many points, it's insane. Damage wise, it's not great, but all of the great point weapons have really low damage and a ton of ammo and that's exactly what this gun is coming in at my number six spot i have the pdw from black ops 2 zombies and this weapon i believe is only on the dlc map so from diarize to origins let me know if i'm wrong in the comment section below i don't think it's on any of the base maps but i don't know it's kind of tough because there's a lot of like exclusive weapons in bo2 but this weapon there really isn't much to say the only thing that jumps out at me with this one is it's kind of you know the best of both worlds it's a great weapon for getting points and it is a great weapon for actually getting kills i love the iron sights on this thing as well but this is a weapon that i can grab early on in the game and probably use it pack a punched for 15 or 20 rounds and in the process rack up a ton of points coming in at my number five spot i have the ak74u this weapon is is on Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3 Zombies. So let me just kind of just start off with um, BO1. I think this is probably one of the, the better, if not the best, wall gun in BO1. The weapons in BO1, we all know, aren't all that fantastic, but this was definitely up there as uh, one of the best wall guns and probably the best SMG easily in BO1. And BO2, very similar to how it was in BO1. It was a very solid wall gun and a solid SMG in BO3. I am not a fan of this gun. I don't know why. I just do not like the 7.4U in uh, BO3. Let me guys know in the comments below if you like the BO3 version. But this weapon, I think it's kind of more of a damage weapon than it is an actual point weapon. If we're talking about point guns in BO1, BO2, and BO3, there are much better options. But this, I guess it's kind of like the PW where it's like the best of both worlds. But... If I'm going to have this gun in BO1 or BO2, it's more for getting kills than it is for getting points. Coming in at my number four spot, we have the bootlegger. We are now entering the SMGs that are leaning way more towards damage than actual point weapons. And the bootlegger is a very good and a very underrated weapon in BO3 Zombies. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of blanking on what maps this thing is on. I know it's on Shadows. I know it's on Nocturne and Toten. There's probably a couple more of the Chronicle maps it's on. But if we're talking about the base maps from Black Ops 3, I believe it's only on Shadows of Evil. Um, maybe something else. But the bootlegger... It's just a beast of a weapon, and you can't have attachments on this thing. It is either just a, you know, pack-a-punch version or a non-pap version. Both versions are great. The pap version, in my opinion, is absolutely deadly. It's a little bit pricey on Shadows as a wall buy, but you know what? For an SMG, this thing is pretty impressive. Coming in at my number three spot, I have the MP40. And I'm not going to lie, the reason why this weapon is so high on my list is because it is on every single or in every single Zombies game or Treyarch Zombies game. So let me run through each version quickly. I actually recently did a evolution of this weapon so I know this gun very well. In World of War, this thing is actually very underrated. In BO1, more of a point gun. Same thing with BO2, more of a point gun. In BO3, uh, both versions are more of a point gun than anything. And then BO4, I think... I think this thing is, is fantastic. So I think the World of War and the BO4 versions are very good weapons, but since it's in every single zombies mode, it has to be high on my list. Coming in at the number two spot, I have the Scorpion Evo from uh, Origins in BO2 Zombies. 
This is the only map in COD Zombie history that the Scorpion Evo is on. And the Scorpion Evo, there really isn't much to say about this weapon. It's kind of like the Spitfire of Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now, this thing, non pack a punch isn't fantastic. When you pack this thing, it is absolutely insane. I think this thing is a very, very, very underrated weapon. Just in all of COD Zombies. And yeah... Like, if you're playing Origins, give this thing a go. It is hands down one of my personal favorite weapons in COD Zombies. Coming in at my number one spot, it's kind of obvious. It's the World of War version of the PPSH. I know there is a BO3 version, but that is not even close to how dominant the World of War version is. And it's kind of funny because it's only one map. It's Duris. It's the papped version, the Reaper that is absolutely insane, super fast fire rates, an insane amount of ammo, close to a thousand shots. So this thing is an absolute monster. You would know if you've played World of War Zombies. So there we have it, guys. Those were the top 10 best SMGs of all time in Treyarch Zombies. Let me know in the comment section below what class I should do next. So ARs, LMGs, snipers, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments below. And besides that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.